My name is Liz Heileman from HIVandHepatitis.com. I'm here with uh, Francoise Barry-Sanussi, who is the president-elect of the International AIDS Society. We're going to talk about a little bit about a new initiative you have going on, uh, the sort of to working towards a cure for HIV. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, indeed, uh, you know, in the field of HIV AIDS today, there is two main priorities to try to get a vaccine. And to try to get a cure, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to eradicate the virus that is our dream. And uh, we can indeed not separate prevention and treatment. So HIV vaccine research, there is already an alliance at international level mm -hmm. to try to improve collaboration right. and uh, effort also to develop an HIV vaccine. In the field of HIV cure, it's very new. <laughs> Uh, which is a new interest, let's right, say, right. for both treatment and prevention, there is no a global alliance okay. to try to stimulate, promote a research on that area at international level and also to convince uh, the government to give funding a, for this uh, research. And I understand you had a meeting right before CROI to talk about a new international working group. What is that group? That's uh, right. We, we, we established a, a new international working group in order to define a global scientific strategic plan uh, for uh, research on HIV cure. And uh, we also initiate an advisory board uh, in order to uh, define the global scientific strategy, uh, but to inform in parallel the founders, the communities, representative of countries from developing countries on what is going on on the development of this scientific strategy globally. Uh, the idea, of course, is to uh, uh, be uh, to consult a lot of people, right. uh, both from the communities and, 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 and from the researchers involved in, in that field, uh, in order to have a, a strategy which uh, be representative. Okay. And let me ask, why um, why is the, the idea of a cure having having a resurgence now after we spent many years focusing on antiretroviral drugs and sort of starting at the IAS conference last summer, there seemed to be a new focus on maybe a cure is possible. It's a new focus for, for different reasons, I would say. First of all, uh, probably the fact that uh, scientifically we know that there are, there are some very few patients, we call them elite controllers, right, right. Uh, that are able to uh, control very efficiently uh, their virus uh, remain undetectable without any uh, antiretroviral treatment. So it's a new hope mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, we should at least be able to have a functional cure. Secondly, there is uh, this story regarding what we call the Berlin, the Berlin patient. patient yes. Uh, that seems to have been able to uh, totally control uh, his infection after bone marrow transplantation. Right. Uh, with a, from a donor mm -hmm. with a delta 32 mutation. So there is some, let's say, uh, evidences that we should be successful at least to uh, develop a functional cure. And by functional but cure you mean? You mean, I mean uh, that you don't eliminate totally the virus from the body, it's like more or less the, the elite controllers. Right. Uh, but uh, you don't, uh, you don't need anything. to take any treatment anymore. Your immune system is capable to okay. control perman permanently the virus. Okay, and I'm going to ask you to go into the realm of speculation a little bit. What sort of approaches that are now being um, being explored do you think might hold the, hold the most promise and maybe how long we're looking at before some of that promise comes to fruition? It's difficult to, to, to give any deal uh, in research. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's always very difficult. In that case, why don't we focus on what are the, what are the most promising approaches and not worry about the timeline so much? Uh, there are several, indeed. Uh, you can think about the vac vaccine therapy uh, to try to uh, stimulate the immune system in uh, patients that are on heart, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you vaccinate to uh, stimulate the immune response, right. and then you can stop mm -hmm. the antiretroviral okay, treatment. Okay. So it's one approach. Immune-based strategy is one approach, and vaccine therapy can be considered as immune-based right, right. uh, approach. 
other approaches that are already uh, starting as well is to have uh, uh, molecules, new uh, drugs, that will be able to uh, uh, to rescue uh, the virus in latently infected cells because we have more and more information from basic science about the mechanism which uh, are responsible for latency okay. into the cells. And according to this mechanism, uh, there, is, there, has been, there has been already some design of drug that should be able to uh, induce the transcription, which is blocked in the latently right. infected cells. So the idea is there is once it's the idea once is into the body, you can... And, and then, of course, uh, the we drugs need also to, to have data and clinical trial. Intensification of art, it's also mm -hmm. one approach. The first uh, data on clinical trial with intensification were not so promising. However, uh, it was during chronic infection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to think if you treat the patient very early, right, right. and if you intensify the treatment very early on, maybe we, we, will, we may have a nice data. Okay, and one final question. There's been some, some presentations today about the, um, the zinc finger to That's delete right. the CCR5 um, from, from T cells and further down the road, maybe from stem cells. Um, mm -hmm. Have anything to say about that approach? I think it's a, it's a, it's a very interesting approach and, and uh, it's a proof of concept uh, from what I heard. I was not in the room, but uh, from the data to replicate I, uh, the I heard, patient. Uh, yeah, it's to try to replicate more or less the building patient. And it's very interesting uh, to have a proof of concept and to work further because the Berlin person, for me, as you know, at a very large scale, mm -hmm. it's impossible, impossible to, right. to, to consider right. this approach. But to try to understand precisely the mechanism by which the Berlin patient is capable to control right. uh, very efficiently this virus is very interesting. Maybe use it for other people. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? What I'd like to add maybe is uh, that uh, we are all concerned about uh, the, the funding at international level, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is decreasing these days right, right. because of the economical crisis. And uh, we have uh, to think that HIV epidemic is still there. Mm -hmm. We heard this morning that uh, uh, the epidemic is still even increasing in some population. Right, right. Uh, so that means that uh, the game is not over and we have to find new strategy for the future. Okay, well thank you very much for your time.